All right. Despite what people think, with me and the oh Nora, oh no Nora, Nora Ames, Nora Silva, Nora Kova, Kova, whatever her OSA name is, we're actually going to be fair here. This is a theory. It is a theory. So please give the second channel a chance, Examining Kubrick, where we will discuss similar issues as well as cinema. And please consider supporting the channel. Okay, so what is the controversy? Well, Lindsay released some devastating videos on Aaron Smith Levin, a notorious YouTuber who has made attacking David Miscavige's life. But is he attacking David Miscavige? Quite a question mark. So that's Aaron, and one of his allies is Nora. Currently, Nora Ames, but she's had many fake titles. So it is very plausible that Nora, who likes secret identities, may have been attacking Lindsay in the video through a secret identity. Now, we don't know this for sure. It does seem plausible. So who is this? Well, this is Kim Gutierrez. So Kim Gutierrez put some nasty comments accusing Lindsay of being a really evil, disgusting narcissist and trying to destroy Aaron's family. And we just got to ask question, guys. Why is she speaking now? Well, unlike Nora, I am willing to say I made mistakes. Um, if I left the impression that Lindsay's relationship was a while ago, let me fact correct. They were recently together, like in a couple of days together, they were still texting one another. So this is not ancient history. This is not her. Why is she coming out now? Unless you mean by now, the next second, they've been in a relationship for a long time. This didn't end even a week ago. They were still texting each other a few days ago. So Kim putting out there, why do you speak now, narcissist? Isn't even getting the basic facts right. Very, very suspicious. And it does go to a pattern of Nora not addressing the substance of an argument, but keep going back to, I'm beautiful and gay, and I'm a woman, and I've been attacked by Scientology. Right. But Lindsay was never in Scientology. She's not working with OSA. So how is that relevant? I don't know. But that is the card she will always pull that it's oh Nora that deserves to be a Hollywood star. Nice. Got it. Not relevant. Are you going to address the issue or not address the issue? And Kim isn't addressing the issue. She's like, let's think about Lindsay's character. Let's think about Aaron's children. Let's think about the family. Yeah, let's think about that for three seconds. Why did Aaron lie to Lindsay about how the family was taking this? Why did he lie to her about having an open relationship? She thought that Aaron's wife knew about this, but apparently no, Aaron's wife has been kept in the dark. So it's Aaron who's been destroying his family. Not Lindsay, not Julianne, another lover. It's been Aaron. He's been very destructive towards the family. His wife and children are suffering. Correct. Why are we focused on protecting Aaron? Don't know. We should be focused on the victims, right? His wife, the children, Lindsay and others. But no, 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 no. We need to think, why is the narcissist speaking now? Now, again, these are allegations. We don't know for sure. It is Nora. But if we look up the actual Kim Gutierrez, it does feel like a fake account. There's no content. It's only been existing since 2020. So this could be one of Onora's go-to places where she's like, well, it would be very embarrassing if the pro-woke, pro-lesbian, pro-woman, SJW pretend gay clown woman isn't really what she says she is. So we're going to do sneak attacks through secret identities. Oh, that's really nice. Let's think about that for three seconds. What if this is Nora? So one... There's really two points, but I just want to concentrate on one for now. You're taking on the name of a Hispanic woman that's apparently celebrity bodybuilder. She looks quite nice, by the way. That's kind of racist. Why do I identify as a Hispanic woman? Does she have these weirdo fantasies? As far as I know, her wife is a white woman. So do you have these weird fantasies of being with Latin women? Okay, well, pick up a phone, get a call girl. Or listen to J-Lo records. I don't know, and I don't care. But that's pretty grotesque to say she's anti-racist and then pretending to be Hispanic online. It's kind of weird. And then a second note related to that one is, yes, on her Twitter and elsewhere, she just puts out, I have no time for racists. I have no time for sexists. I have no time for fascists. Now, this is probably a rare case where, and again, I want to be careful. I'm not saying Nora is a fascist. But is she acting like one? Well, she's putting on a very good impersonation. Having studied fascism for, I don't know, 20 years? It's pretty offensive someone claimed to be anti-fascist and uh, pulling a lot of fascist tricks of trying to destroy the reputation of victims who speak out about a very creepy, toxic echo chamber 
run by a man with, to put it mildly, predatory instincts and tendencies and a long record now. This is not just her. This is her, Julianne, and possibly other victims. And we're like, yeah, we're going to help that echo chamber. And we're going to be still pro-SJW, pro-women's, pro-feminist, pro-lesbian. I don't know how many pro-feminist, pro-women's are helping really toxic echo chambers. Well, there you go. Either she is a genuine feminist, but just very confused, or she is a fascist in the making, and maybe she'll go full Hitler and put on the costume and everything. I don't know. I don't care. But at this point, her silence is very telling. So if this is not her, apologies. But if it is her, unfortunately, it's just own Nora being own Nora, as she usually is.